What is dear? Give me all files and folders. When I run, dear dot, it produces unexpected results. Even files and folders without any dot in their names are listed. For example, Why is that? Is there any way to list only files with a dot? I am writing this answer because Op has emphasized that. What I'm interested is why, dot, matches all files, as stated in the question. The dear command comes from a time when, period, was not allowed as a character in file or folder names. File and folder names were restricted to 8 characters for name and 3 characters for extensions. Therefore, by that standard, dot, meant whatever the name and whatever the extension. It did not mean a string containing A, which may or may not have characters before or after the. Microsoft policy is preserving backward compatibility. Hence, that interpretation of, dot, is retained. But in Windows PowerShell, dot, means a string containing A, which may or may not have characters before or after the. Why is that? One could find an answer to why is that, in Wildcard's article. Wildcard Matching Rules Generally matches any zero or more characters, with one exception, see next rule. The non-greedy wildcard is free to match as many or as few characters as are necessary for the remainder of the masked match. Dot, at end of mask matches any zero or more characters except four, dot, in actuality, the rule applies with any number of, dot, and, space, characters between the end terminal, dot. The regular expression for this term is, dot, dot dollar. Question mark, match zero or one character, except four, dot. The only time it matches zero characters is when it matches the end of the name, or the, position before a, dot. The question mark can also be used more than once to match more than one character. Implication The last dot in a file slash folder name separates base name and extension. So dear and nbsp dot displays all items with no extension and Dear and NBSP, dot, displays all items with extension of zero or more characters. Strictly speaking, Dear and NBSP, dot, displays all items with no period, dot, in name. BTW, naming files, paths, and namespaces MSDN article says explicitly that it is acceptable to specify a period as the first character of a name. Is there any way to list only files with a dot? I don't think so. However, there is a workaround with a fitting regular expression. PowerShell, full scope solution if used in a PowerShell console. CMD, an idea only, might require some elaboration. Addendum, a bonus and explanation.
an intuitive guess that name is concatenated base name and extension does not hold. The following script proves it using CMD and PowerShell core features, and the weird, caret dot dot, dot 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 dollar, regex is derived from its results. Output Compare definition of base name property, different for files and folders. My original answer was based on unforgivable misunderstanding. Read, dear, question mark, use, dear slash a column d. Another approach, apply findster regex as, dear dot, findster slash v and lt, dot in gt. Is there any way to list only files with a dot? You can match file names with a dot by using the undocumented wildcard and lt which matches either a sequence of zero or more characters in the base name or a sequence of zero or more characters in the extension. Remember that an LT is also a meta character, so you need to quote or escape it whenever using it in a pattern from the command shell. The command line interpreter will see as all base file names with all extensions. A blank extension is still an extension, so will be matched and returned with the list. As others have explained, this is a hangover from earlier versions of Windows and MS-DOS. If you're happy to look using PowerShell, finding these files is a lot easier. Note that in PowerShell, there is an alias for the get child item commit. To find all files, not directories slash folders, that have an extension, for example, myfile.txt, but not file with no list. The AF switch is shorthand for file which restricts the return objects to files only. Add would only get directories. The va means a literal dot character. Without the va? To get all files where there was a dot in the name without the extension, as well as an extension, for example, my document underscore v1.1.doc, one dot one dot dot, but not my file dot text. Note, however, that this will exclude a file with the name such as archive with the preceding dot. This is because it's treated as having no base name and an extension of archive. If you want to include these, Here, the match pattern says a literal dot, or beginning off string followed by end off string dollar, i.e. an empty string. Since a file can't have both an empty base name and extension, it will find the file starting with a dot. If you want to support the channel, put it as a thousand percent share